was happening, folks, was happening. So I went and saw the Thor movie, right? I mean, it's been out for a minute, but I went and saw the latest show one. So I mean, you know, what's happening? Um, I took my girlfriend home and just went and picked up some shit from like Satan's front doorstep, you know, Walmart. Because it's like, it, it, like I said, I went and saw the latest show. And I wanted to go pick up the movie Annabelle, not Annabelle Creation, but the first Annabelle, you know what I'm talking about? And I was like, I saw it at the other Walmart. I was not in my little town. Um, I wanted to go pick, because I saw it in little cheap movies while we was out. And I was like, all right, fuck it. I'll go to the one next to the house after dropping you off and I'll, you know, pick it up there because it's cheap as hell. I like the movie, you know, I like Annabelle. I thought it was good, you know. Creation, I didn't really like it. Um, but that's not the reason I want to talk to y'all. Reason I want to talk to y'all, man. This Thor, Ragnarok. Damn, that movie. That movie is genius. It's so good. It is fucking incredible. You feel me? From the very beginning to the last part of it is fucking incredible, man. Um, they definitely are making up for all, like, the only bad third installment they have, which is Iron Man. Iron Man's uh, third movie was horrible. We all know that. We know Iron Man 3 sucked. But Cap... And his third movie was great. Thor, his third movie was great. Uh, I don't think anybody else has had a third movie other than Iron Man, Cap, and Thor now. Uh, Hulk hasn't even had a second movie. Um, and during the movie, like before the movie even started, man, I saw some previews to some things. I was just like, oh shit, I can't wait fucking man can you believe we're a week out from fucking the fucking justice league movie oh man it's coming friday uh damn friday holy shit it's almost fucking here and then um while i was there i saw a uh a cut out like 3d ish statue for Black Panther and I'm really looking forward to that movie. The only complaint I have is <coughs> why in the fuck is there purple on his suit? Like, I, I like the Black Panther. I've enjoyed him in the Avengers uh, movies. I've enjoyed him in the Avengers cartoons. I enjoy the Black Panther as a hero in of himself. What the hell is that? I don't know what that is, but we're gonna cut off my light because he's gonna be like, what the hell were you doing? But that is Popo behind me, um, which is why I'm cutting my light off and why you can't see me right now. I wanna make sure he gets the fuck out of my way. I wanna make sure I get the fuck out of his way um, because he'd probably be thinking I'm doing some illegal shit which I'm kind of, I mean, y'all don't do what I'm doing, which is driving and recording right now. Make sure y'all don't do what I be doing. Um, but I will cut the light back on here in just a moment. Um, mainly when I know I'm good to go. Um, it don't, the light don't really affect me, whether it's daylight or like it is now. I mean, the shit don't affect me. I mean, y'all, you know, y'all know, y'all know. Um, but like I said, I want to talk to y'all about this shit because, like I say, the shit was good, okay? It, it was really good. You could tell where they were having a lot of fun making this movie, man. They had a lot of fun making this movie, and it's so much fun to watch. Um, if you get a chance to go see it, definitely go see it in the theater. Um, I missed Homecoming in the theater. I missed Spider-Man Homecoming. Um, I rented it, and... I'm not mad that I didn't get to go see it in theaters. Um, I've been talking to some friends about that movie, and he says they're still working their way up to the Sinister Six. 
Although I would prefer Andrew Garfunkel's version of the Sinister Six versus the new guy. Um, that's just my opinion. But with Thor Ragnarok, oh my God, they gave fucking uh, they gave Hulk a big role in this, which was great because we don't see him that much. And they gave uh, oh, they gave the gatekeeper a role too, which was great too. I thought that was fantastic and bringing the light back. Um, oh, fuck his name is. Uh, you know who I'm talking about. The guy with the sword who opens the gate to bring him to uh, Asgard or take let him go to Earth or wherever they're going for the Nine Realms. That guy. They gave him a bigger role than just spatting lines. Play, he's played by... Uh, it, how do you say his name? Adrian Albert? I think is how you say his name. He, that guy. They gave him a bigger role with more substance. And that I thought was great because I've been waiting for him to do something more than just have one-liners. And this movie, they finally let him have it. And I was like, thank you, Jesus. Um, and, man, you could tell where they've just been trying so hard to figure out what to do with the Hulk. Um, it was funny when they let Bruce be uh, Bruce. And I'm talking about Bruce Banner, of course. Um, it took uh, Black Widow to show up for the Hulk. Hulk started beating himself, like letting Bruce Banner come back, but he was beating on himself. That was funny. Uh, spoiler, by the way, if y'all don't know any of that, I'm sorry, but I I can't help it. They had a um, preview before the movie showing off Star Wars, which got me, man. I was like, oh my God, I cannot wait for this movie. Um, that's going to be a day one C for me. I'm going the day it comes out same thing with justice league i'm on the day it comes out these previews were so good i cannot wait to see these movies justice league i'm probably gonna treat like batman v superman i know everybody didn't like that movie but i'm gonna go see that movie probably like five six times um but man thor ragnarok holy shit this movie was so good it was so much fun it was had a lot of good jokes in there. <coughs> it had some really good uh, music. Apparently, they referenced uh, Stranger Things. Uh, my girlfriend picked up on that. I didn't. Um, I picked up on the Willy Wonka thing. That was funny. I, I was just like, wow, there's uh, Willy Wonka music playing in there. Um, the music they picked for Thor this time was actually really good. Um, and I can't think of the name of the band, but it's that really high-pitched screaming and that really heavy metal. Um, that works really well. Um, of course, you got Anthony Hopkins. I think his contract's up with Thor. Um, if you didn't know, sorry. Um, I think his contract ran out. Um, the lead into Infinity War. I don't know how they're working with that in this movie. I didn't really see it. Um, we see the Tesseract. We see the Tesseract in this movie like twice. Um, I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal. They didn't crack it open. But we do see the Tesseract in this movie twice. Um, and... I mean, it was really good. There were some things that, you know, annoyed my girlfriend that didn't annoy me. I just was like, okay, that's different, I guess. Um, but, I mean, it, it is what it is. I still thought it was really good. If you get, like I said, if you get the chance to see it, go see it. Definitely go see it for yourself. It's worth going and paying the money to see it in the theaters. Um, man, if they would have released it during the summer and put it up against Spider-Man, I would say... Um, being that Spider-Man is his own thing, this movie would have probably given Spider-Man a good run for its money, which is why they probably held off, because it is that damn good. And Kevin Ferg, Kevin Fergie, I think is how you say his name, this dude is doing primo shit, like, he is seriously doing primo shit, and I'm now back in the house.
Um, I gotta go. So deuces.